This is therefore to say that transformation of human consciousness through meditation is frustrated. So long as we think of it in terms of something that I myself can bring about by some kind of wangle, by some sort of gimmick. Because you see that leads to endless games of spiritual one-upmanship and of guru competitions of my guru is more effective than your guru. My yoga is faster than your yoga. I'm more aware of myself than you are. I'm humbler than you are. I'm sorrier for my sins than you are. I love you more than you love me. There is interminable goings on about which people fight and wonder whether they are a little bit more evolved than somebody else and so on. All that can just fall away. And then we get this strange feeling that we have never had to see in our lives, except occasionally by accident. Some people get a glimpse that we are no longer this poor little stranger and afraid in a world it never made. But that you are this universe and you are creating it at every moment. Because you see it starts now. It didn't begin in the past. There was no past. See, if the universe began in the past, when that happened it was now. See, well, it's still now. And the universe is still beginning now, and it's trailing off like the wake of a ship from now. And that wake of the ship fades out, so does the past. You can look back there to explain things, but the explanation disappears. You'll never find it there. Things are not explained by the past. They're explained by what happens now. That creates the past. And it begins here. That's the birth of responsibility. Because otherwise, you can always look over your shoulder and say, well, I'm the way I am because my mother dropped me. And she dropped me because she was neurotic because her mother dropped her. And away we go back to Adam and Eve or to a disappearing monkey or something. We never get at it. But... In this way, you're, you're faced with it, you're doing all this. And that's an extraordinary shock. So, cheer up. You can't blame anyone else for the kind of world you're in. And if you know, you see that I in the sense of the person, the front, the ego, it really doesn't exist, then it won't go to your head too badly if you wake up and discover that you're God.